I moved from Melbourne to Vienna 22 years ago to study and back then never imagined that I'd ever be playing concertos in the Musikverein, which is one of Europe's most famous concert halls. It was a lot of hard work, perseverance, but it's all been worth it. Shortly before my seventh birthday, I was listening to the radio with my mum and they played the Beethoven Spring Sonata. I suddenly burst into tears, uh, fell on the floor and said, I have to do that, I have to play that music. My mother told my father, who was quite amazed because his own mother had been an amateur violinist and she had predicted that he would have a child that would do everything with the violin that she hadn't been able to do. So for my seventh birthday I was given a violin and my first lesson. It's hard to believe but my grandma's prediction actually has come true. My father sees it as almost like a reincarnation. My main job is concertmaster of the Vienna Volksoper Orchestra. The Volksoper is the second largest opera house in Vienna. It was a long road to finally win the concertmaster audition and I think there was a bit of scepticism for a while um, having an Australian coming into this position but slowly but surely I think my approach has been accepted and appreciated. Balls are enormous social events here in Vienna. There are about 200 every year. I'm the concertmaster of the Opera Ball Orchestra. We play the Opera Ball itself and also in the Imperial Palace on New Year's Eve. When I first heard about the Australian World Orchestra project, I was incredibly excited. And it was just a dream come true for all of us, I think, to get all of us back together again from youth orchestra times and from college times to all play music again together in Australia. But any opportunity to go home is always incredible for me and to play with my colleagues from those times is really the most wonderful thing ever. <laughs>